from Liquid Planet, downtown Missoula. It's the Morning Trail with Robert and Mike. It's Wednesday. It's Wine Wednesday. Wine Guy Mike's here. I'm in the candy house, baby, this morning. You are. It's all at your disposal. Here. This is, I got wine and caffeine. Like, not just cans of it. And not just bottles of it. I've got racks and coolers going here, man. <laughs> Liquid Planet, how do you not love this place, huh? You know, we were talking to the manager, Mike, down here, and he said that they just got through with the dusting of uh, all the bottles, but a, certainly a significant task of dusting uh, the entire wine selection down here at Liquid Planet. Wow, that, I don't want that job. <laughs> not at all. I just want to drink it. <laughs> Maybe we'll solve this just by drinking. All right, so Wine Guy Mike, it happens each Sunday morning at 10 o'clock right after E-Town on the Trail 1033. And again, if you haven't listened to E-Town, please check it out. It's an hour of uh, music and conversation that's uh, usually, more often than not, recorded at the uh, Boulder Theater in Boulder, Boulder, Colorado. But last week, Ray LaMontagne was on the program performing live. And this week, Brandy Carlisle is on with John Hyatt. Well, so it's going to be another great lineup on E-Town. So E-Town, Sunday morning at 9, immediately followed at 10 o'clock by Wine Guy Mike. So coming up this week, Mike, what's up? Yeah, you know, it's Easter, right? So we're going to be talking about all kinds of wines that pair with hams, lambs, roasts. And we're going to throw a vegetarian uh, mix in there, too, you know. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit this week. I'm going to have a blog post going by uh, tomorrow uh, that I'll have up so people know what wines to go out and come down here to Liquid Planet and purchase their wines. And uh, they have a great experience with their Easter dinner, whether they're vegetarians, you know, whether they're, you know, preparing some nice ham. I got a killer uh, bone-in ham I'm doing with a uh, bottle of Sauvignon Blanc that I'll be cooking it in, so it's going to be... Uh, what time are you serving? Uh, anytime you want, Robert. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you've grabbed three bottles from the racks over here. Or yeah. Did you bring those in, or are those... Uh, no, no, these are, uh, uh, these, are some those, of the, or, these are some of the killer selection down here at Liquid Planet, and I've got uh, a uh, California Pinot, uh, a Heron uh, Pinot Noir, and this has got a great story. This is uh, Laylee Heron. Uh, she was... Uh, raised uh, in Africa. Her father was a mining engineer and basically her parents were hippies and traveled around Europe. She studied in Bordeaux and has had some great um, experience in France and Spain and California making wines. This is about a $14 bottle of Pinot, very affordable, killer choice. Uh, and we've got uh, this uh, Pinot Gris from our friends at Appelsheim, who we love, been on our show before. And uh, this is a great uh, inexpensive bottle of wine. It's got uh, nuances of white peach, pear, apple. Uh, Pinot Gris extracts great minerality from the earth. Uh, and, and as we know, uh, the Willamette Valley is one of my favorite places uh, to uh, have wine from because it really um, expresses terroir in the uh, bottles of wine that they produce over there. Now that next bottle, that clinker brick, old clinker vine, bricks, is, uh, yeah. that's, that's some tasty stuff. Yeah, let me tell you, when they say old vine, the average age of the vines that the grapes are growing on the producer's bottle are 90 years old, okay? Mm -hmm. So they we're talking old vine, that's uh, from Lodi, California, a great representation of a California zen. It's big, it's lush, it's mouth-filling. Can you get any better than that? Well, it's all right here on the table in front of me. I know. And, hey, not only that, we got Red Bull going <laughs> yes, and uh, some killer coffee from Liquid Planet, the Quad Breve. It's the triple threat, man. That's crazy. I get, you know, finally a guy uh, on the morning trail who drinks more coffee than myself. <laughs> <laughs> he does pound it, wine guy Mike. <laughs> all right, I have any more, I'll show you the IV hookup. I, you know. <laughs> It's, it's Wine Guy Mike again, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, you'll have more about uh, the Easter pairing. Yeah, and uh, check out the blog tomorrow so you have time, because uh, the show air, airs on Sunday, so I want everybody to be able to find out what wines go with what. Uh, it'll be up on the blog tomorrow morning on Thursday, so, uh, ahead of time, uh, breaking from the norm, so that you're all set for Easter dinner. Great. And again, uh, just to touch on the fact that Liquid Planet, they have a great selection yeah. from around the world. Yeah, these guys are great friends of mine, and uh, they're going to be um, hooking them up with a software application, my Wine and Dine app. Uh, they're going to be uh, using on the cloud, and so we're going to be able to go online and check out all these killer wines from uh, Liquid Planet. Great. Yeah. All right, thanks, Mike.
Thanks for having me, guys. Wine Guy Mike. Cheers. Good morning. Happy at, Easter. All right. At uh, 10 o'clock Easter morning on the Trail 1033. And again, it's sponsored by Chow Mamba. All right. We're going to come right back.